BSG gang, it's your girl Kaya, aka Brown Skin Girl, and today I am back with another Girl Talk video. I'm actually really excited to have this Girl Talk video because today I just went hygiene shopping and I stacked up and racked up boo on a lot of stuff. I, I don't know what it is. Every time I go hygiene shopping, I just I get so excited because I like taking care of myself. It's fun. I just get like a lot of stuff. I, I did switch out some things that I used to use um because like doing these girl talk videos i've also learned a lot from me watching my own videos that like i need to start like switching up some things so yeah but anyway before i hop into this video like comment subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you can be notified that your girl brown skin girl is uploading another video also follow me on all my socials it'll be in the description box below and yeah without further ado let's hop into this video okay y'all so today's video was going to be a vagina hygiene tips video strictly about your vagina what you should be doing how to take care of it what happens if you have this or that like strictly just on your vagina because i feel like a lot of my other girl talks like i did do one video about like how to stay fresh down there and a lot of you guys liked it so i was like let me just give them a strictly 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 <laughs> vagina video just don't like everything that goes on down there like you know if you guys have questions like just to like really talk to you guys about it i did write some stuff down on this piece of paper i don't if you guys can like never see it but i wrote some stuff down um some things that i already kind of knew from the back of my head um and some things i did have to look up like i did watch a lot of other girl talk videos about like vagina tips videos and stuff like that so i did get some stuff in there and they were very informational i i did watch some like doctor videos too about your vagina because they are pretty like accurate because they're like a vagina doctor and they kind of know what they're talking about so yeah so before i hop into that portion of the video let's talk about ph balance and exactly what it is a lot of people say that like don't do this it'll mess up your ph balance or don't do that because your ph balance will be off so let's just like talk about that i'm not gonna lie i genuinely do not remember from the back of my head of what a ph balance is so we're just gonna like look it up and yeah, so we're gonna look up exactly what a pH balance is because I feel like it's like super important to know what that is instead of just saying, girl, don't do that because your pH balance will get messed up. But what if they don't, like, they'll just be like, okay. Like, some girls just don't know. So I just wanna look it up for you guys because I'm not no doctor. I don't really like know. I know what it is, but I don't really like know the actual like definition of it. So yeah. I hope that makes sense. I really hope that makes sense. Okay, so, okay. Your body's pH balance, also referred to as its acid-base balance, is the level of acids and the base in, in your blood at which your body functions best. The human body is built to naturally maintain a healthy balance. I hope I read that really nice and thoroughly for you guys. But yeah, that is basically what a pH balance is. So it's basically like you just have to be careful what you are doing with your body. It also can cause like a smell. Like if you not gonna like I don't I don't wanna come off as like judgmental, but like if you genuinely just like don't eat any type of vegetables or fruits it could mess you up down there because like you got to take care of your body if you're just strictly eating like junk food and like just no type of vegetable has ever entered your body you could probably be noticing that you just don't feel as clean or you don't smell as clean down there because some vegetables like kale my mom is a pescatarian right so she only eats like seafood she doesn't eat chicken nuggets or like chicken or like burgers she eats like veggie burgers veggie, veggie sausage a lot of salmon she eats like shrimp crabs um she does make like sometimes like vegetarian meals here and there um but she does not eat meat at all and oh she always like makes like this kale salad i have noticed that kale is like a very natural like leaf i think it i, I think it it is a leaf because like my mom uses it for salad but it's like a leaf um and it's like you guys ever heard of kale salad right so kale salad is just like it really cleanses you out and i'm not gonna hold you every time after i eat kale salad i be on the toilet okay i be on the toilet and it's good because it's like flushing everything out of you like i'm told me that my grandmother used to give her and my aunt like this drink and it would like clean out your colon and it was like this 
nasty drink and like clean out your colon and stuff and you they were on the toilet for like hours and days and it like helped them because they had all that nasty junk food backed up in there sometimes it can cause your ph balance to fall off because it's like you're eating healthy for like a week and the next week you're eating like junk food strictly no vegetables so i feel like you do need to have a balance between what types of foods you are eating some vegetables i feel like are just disgusting to me like i don't like peas i like string beans and i i just don't like that it's not good i also don't like um squash don't like squash i'm sorry <laughs> so when i say eat vegetables eat vegetables that are <sighs> I don't know because some people be like some healthy foods aren't gonna be like that good because like they're just not that good but you gotta eat it I think that's false because I like to eat food and let me tell you some vegetables I just don't eat and I'm still a healthy person like I eat broccoli eat kale salad I eat regular salads I really I don't really eat like the nasty vegetables because I'm not eating that that's that's a no I'm sorry I'm sorry but I'm not eating it but anyway uh, um so just making sure that like the pH balance is like okay you need to be making sure that you're eating like a balance of vegetables junk food here and there and try not to eat too much junk food because I'm not gonna lie as me being an 18 year old girl I like to eat junk food but I am also a track athlete so I do have to be careful what I eat I really do because I've noticed that it does affect me in my races and I'm not trying to you know I do want to run in college so I just I just don't want to like mess my body up so I hope that ties into the whole pH balance stuff also vitamins do help too like vitamins really do help with your pH balance like good vitamins like hair skin and nails the vitamins that I showed you guys in my previous girl talk video like they really do help so Whew. yeah I hope that like cleaned out the whole pH balance what is that and what it can do and like all that stuff i really do hope that helps also uh, a tip your vagina is a self-cleaning organ you discharge do not get like freaked out like oh i'm dirty you're not dirty girl you are not dirty we all do it it's like it's if it's white it doesn't discharge can be like white if it's a little yellowish you should like talk to a doctor because that's like an odd color but if it's like white or clear you're fine literally it's just cleaning itself and if you do discharge a lot i would suggest panty liners because they help you won't be getting discharged all in your panties so yeah so the first vagina tip that i have for you guys if you guys are dealing or like if any girls ever had like a uti or like ever got one before or is now dealing with one I heard that cranberry pills really do help um you prevent getting a uti and i heard that they do help with utis i've never had a uti before so i don't know like let me look this up for y'all because i want to make sure that y'all are good you, you know what i'm saying i want to make sure that y'all are straight hold on let me look up let me okay so i found it guys so it says some research shows that taking certain cranberry capsules or tablets can help prevent UTIs in, people's, in people who have had UTIs in the past. Okay, so that's a true fact. So I feel like there's more than other things than cranberry pills, but it did say that cranberry pills do help um, if you have a UTI or if you ever had one before and if you're scared of getting one again, like you can just go to the store. I don't really know where you can find cranberry pills at. You can probably like look it up and see like if they have any in like CVS, Walgreens, Shoppers. I don't really know. Just look it up. I'm pretty sure they have it in like those pharmacy stores and stuff like Rite Aid, CVS, Walgreens, whatever. But cranberry pills do help with um, a UTI. So take those and see if they help. Also, I do know, like I just said, there are different remedies to help with a UTI. So yeah. And it also said certain types of cranberry pills. So I think you should like look up what types of cranberry pills you should take for UTI because there's just some for like you should take them and then there's some for UTIs so there you go try to avoid putting fragrances down there like scented like lotions and baby oils and stuff because I noticed that like I remember in like what was it like my freshman year when I was in gym class and I had this one friend she would just like put like scented lotions down there i was like why are you doing that like you're not you know that's not okay and later on it ended up getting like a very bad like infection and so that goes to show that you should not be putting no types of fragrances down there because a lot of girls want their vagina to smell like cookies and strawberries and cherries like it's just not gonna happen like i'm sorry but it's not like we all have our natural smells so 
you know, we're not gonna smell like that. But if you do feel like your smell is like off, like it's not like your natural smell, then you should go to a doctor or a OBGYN to talk about it. But if you have a natural smell, like we all do, you're good. But don't be putting like fragrances down there, like scented lotions and I hope no one does this, but like spraying perfume down there. No one does that. No one. I hope I hope no one does that because boo. What you doing? Don't ever do that, y'all. Please don't do that. Just don't do it. But just try to avoid like putting stuff down there. Like, for, oh, scented soaps. Yo, do not put that down there either because like you can get like infections, infections. I did hear. No, I didn't hear. I know for a fact. You do put sugar scrubs down there, you can get yeast infections. Like those, I don't have any more of it. But you know, like the little sugar scrubs with the different scents and stuff. Don't be trying to put that like in your vagina like don't do that like you will really get a yeast infection you can probably get more than a yeast infection but you don't want to put none of that stuff down there you don't want to be trying to put fragrances and sugar scrubs and stuff because at the end of the day you're not making it smell like flowers you're gonna get an infection and you don't want an infection at all so avoid putting fragrances in your vagina water water is super important like well, I'm almost done, but I drink a lot of water. I drink a lot of water. I actually want to start drinking like uh, Fiji water because I don't know, a lot of my friends say that it's like really smooth and it just like cleanses you out. I mean, this is Deer Park and I still feel good, but drinking water is very important. Like, I'm not gonna lie, my favorite juice is cranberry juice, y'all. Like, I'm a cranberry juice addict. I love cranberry juice, cran grape, cran apple. It don't matter what it is. I love, I love, I love cran straight up but I did notice that like the more I was drinking like more juices I just felt more weaker like I just felt like more slouchy when I would drink like iced tea a lot cranberry juice a lot just juices and drinks like that um so when I started drinking more and more and more water like literally I just like sometimes after I'm done this water bottle I either fill it up or I just get another water bottle but I do drink a bunch of water it's like really important it does help down there you'll feel more better down there not even down in your vagina but you'll feel more like better inside and out because you got to work from the inside out you know what I mean so just taking care of yourself inside internally and externally is very important but like, drinking water is like really important you guys should be drinking a bunch of water um be careful with what detergents you are washing your panties with i used to use a bunch of different detergents when i was in middle school my mom made me start washing my own clothes and of course i didn't really know how to do that but i just started using like different types of like fragrance i mean um different types of like detergents and literally i noticed that sometimes my panties would give me like an itching sensation like start feeling really weird down there and so i remember one time i told my doctor and i told her about how i just started washing my clothes and stuff um and she was like well what kind of detergents are you using on her like I use this I use that and she was like you need to stick to one she was telling me which ones not to use I really don't remember I don't feel like all of them are bad but you should just like read the labels and stuff because sometimes some panties um when you wash them like if you get a new pair of panties you need make sure you wash them to get that dye out right say if like some detergents really don't clean your clothes now you still have that dye in your panties and it, and then you get like an infection and stuff like that you want to make sure that you are reading the label so just be careful with what detergents you're, you are using i use tide i've never i've never had a bad experience with tide it cleans my clothes and every time i get a new pair of panties i always wash them before i put them on to get that dye out of my panties because it's a true fact i had a friend one time she had new panties from pink the dye rubbed off on her cootie cat and she got an infection and it was like really bad so just be careful with what you're using on your panties try to avoid wearing skin tight clothes and eggs and like tight leggings in the house like i said this before but when you're in the house just like throw on some sweatpants i don't wear panties in the house when i take a really nice shower i just throw on my robe and i'm just chilling or sometimes i just put on my sweatpants and like a hoodie and it's like loose clothing because i don't want like anything being trapped in my vagina like and you you're also saving your panties like you're saving your underwear because you're not like wasting them i mean don't be trying to wear a lot of skin tight clothes in the house or just like in general like i know for like all my track athletes out there like we love to wear spandex and stuff when it gets hot i did notice that whenever i 
around like outdoor season, I would wear a bunch of spandex. They were super tight. And when I would go home, I would smell really like sweaty down there. And I get because I just got done working out. It was bad because I had tight spandex that was freaking trapping in my odor. And it was just like, oh no. Like, so I just stopped wearing spandex. I wear a lot of like loose clothing now to track practice and stuff. But try to avoid wearing all that like tight clothing because it's like really bad for you. And it sometimes I'm not going to lie, but I used to wear a bunch of like tight clothing it would kind of hurt because it's like really tight and like squeezing me like down there and it would just feel so uncomfortable and it would hurt and it's just not a good thing so just try to avoid that baby wipes and feminine wipes are so important listen i know i've said this plenty of times y'all but baby wipes are like your best friend like i said tissue is not doing the job and like i said i just went hygiene shopping today and got me a new pair well not a new pair but i got me a new pack of baby wipes so i can finally show y'all so look this is what i use they are unscented ultra soft sensitive cleansing wipes fragrance free i use fragrance free because i just feel like it's better i don't really want to use the ones with fragrances because i don't want to put fragrances down in my vagina but y'all i use this after i pee after i did my number two i use this everywhere like i don't use tissue at all like unless i'm really like i have no more of this and i can't go to the store i'll probably use tissue but this is like what i've been using ever since and when i'm out i literally buy like a small pack so like i can just wipe while i'm out in public like these are just like really good I also felt like sometimes you know how like when your period just loves to like pop up on you like yeah that's really annoying i suggest always having a small pack like a travel size pack of um feminine wipes or baby wipes with you if you do ever have an accident where you just like kind of like your period just came out of nowhere you just go to the bathroom and wipe her up real quick and do what you got to do because it's, it's better like that happened to me in school one time and i was embarrassed and this is before i started using baby wipes i get these from cvs they also have a section which is like strictly travel size like soaps deodorants and stuff and they have a travel size baby wipes um that these are fragrance free if you want to use the ones that have fragrances i mean I mean, go ahead but just like don't wipe like when you're wiping in general whatever you're wiping with don't go like in your vagina kind of go like outside of it you know what i mean kind of like wipe her real quick but don't be trying to like because you're gonna hurt yourself but that's why i don't use fragrance ones because like that's just gonna cause you more pain but if you want to use the ones for fragrances just be really careful but i suggest to use the fragrance free one so yeah they're also good when you have your period poops and you got to get that out yo baby wipes i'm telling you i'm telling you like it's i'm telling you right now that brown skin girl is telling you that baby wipes are the best they just are have an extra pair of panties on you so i don't know if it's just me but i'm just a very goofy person and i just i love i just laugh at everything i laugh at i i, I just laugh i'm just a laughable funny goofy bubbly person and sometimes when I'm like on the phone with my friends or like if I'm out with my friends they make me laugh like super hard and you kind of like I kind of like tinkle on myself not like really pee on yourself but you kind of like just like tinkle a little bit and you leave it on that could cause like an odor remember i was like my freshman year and i was over at my friend's house we were just laughing at the dumbest stuff and she just made me laugh like she literally made me laugh so hard i tinkled on myself and i did not have an extra pair of underwear and i noticed that like instead of me like changing them because i didn't have an extra pair i just like kind of like put tissue as like a pad wise and just pull my panties back up so it could like dry i came home and kind of had a little odor to it i was like oh well that's kind of embarrassing because yeah but i just i don't know if it's just me but like just in case if that like happens to you does i feel like it happens to everybody like everybody has to have tinkle on themselves just a little bit when they laughing too hard y'all get the point the point is to just have an extra pair of underwear on you so if that does happen or if something else does happen you can just literally you can just literally like have an extra pair of panties on you and just like change them and feel really fresh so overall it's just like just have a pair of panties on you there you go use unscented soaps when you are washing down there do not use olay use those coffee scented ones do not use um dove none of that you need to use like literally i'm not gonna hold you 
when I'm in the shower, I use Olay. So when I'm done with my Olay and stuff, I wash her last because I want to get my back, my neck, my underarms, my legs, my feet. And then I go in with this, I have this unscented bar soap. It's just a plain white bar soap. And I just wash with that down there. That's it. I don't wash with no type of scented soap and just do not put no type of fragrances down there especially when you're washing her do not put it down there with um olay like i just said olay dove all that stuff like that saint ives like do not don't use that down there use just a plain bar of soap or some girls just wash their vagina with water which is perfectly fine just make sure that you're clean okay you guys that is the end of this girl talk vagina tip video i really hope that you guys enjoyed it i really hope that you guys got something out of it and learned a lot of stuff like comment subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you can be notified that your girl brown skin girl has uploaded another video and also follow me on all my socials it'll be in the description box below and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!